got what you want. If it's a bass, it's a giant. It is. And we're stopped. One pound, 15 ounces, now I'm too <laughs> Look at this. It's time to get on the road again, guys. We are headed to the Heavy Hitters event, going to none other than Raleigh, North Carolina. Man, those lakes are awesome over there. We were there in 2019. I can't wait to get back. Really can't believe that they've kept those lakes a secret as long as they have. We were there in 2019, but I am looking forward to going back. So we got the truck all packed up, about to get on the road again. We'll be on the road about eight hours a day, taking you along with us. And then we got the event this week, Heavy Hitters. Looking forward to how it's all gonna go down catch some big ones we gotta catch some big ones this week let's get on the road and head that way these are life it's part of it get this full so we can get on the road make it to north carolina Chicken time. One of the perks of Danielle going with me is I don't have to drive the whole time. See, I got a driver. All you fishermen out there who need to be looking for you a woman, they can drive and pull a boat. So we're about two hour, two and a half hours away. It's been pretty un uneventful drive, but we did have a little bit of traffic there in I-40 in the mountains. So we're gonna get there. Might be a little late, but better late than never. So, get there to Raleigh, gotta do a little tackle, got a meeting tonight, and um, then we'll get on practice tomorrow. Well, we finally made it to Raleigh. Actually been here for a couple hours. Got on our Zoom meeting for uh, Major League Fishing, told us what was gonna go on for the week. Got to our first hotel, and it wasn't what it was supposed to be. So we spent some time, and we finally found another one that uh, it's got not, not as good parking, but Seems cleaner, seems safer. Uh, there ain't nothing on the sheets and all that good stuff. So that's part of life on the road is you book these hotels, you've never seen them before, and uh, show up, they may not always be what they're cracked up to be. So we got in a place we feel more comfortable now, which is important, and we got one outside plug-in, but the good news is there's nobody here, no other boats here, so uh, I think we'll be all right. But uh, we'll make it work. I get some groceries, get something to eat. We'll get in bed for tonight. Day one practice starts tomorrow. Idling out, day one of practice. It's a beautiful day. It's already like 60 uh, this morning. It's gonna get to like 80. So water temperature showing 61 on the Laurent. So you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking they're gonna be spawning or starting to spawn. They, got, they gotta be, someone's gotta be doing that. So lake's a little bit below summer pool. So we're not gonna have a lot of flooded stuff, but uh, check out that sunrise. We're gonna get after them. See what we can do, day one, practice. First good chunk of the day. An hour and a half in, a little point going back in a pocket. Water temperature about 61, so that's about right. Heading back in there to spawn. A little midday practice update. Um, it's going pretty good. You, you know, I've caught a few fish this morning cranking out a little bit, and uh, they weren't good ones. And the further I slid in, the better my quality's getting. So uh, I think these fish are trying to spawn, but they're not up. They're not up where you can see them. Water's dirty. 
they're a little bit out so i'm catching them just out in front of stuff but uh i definitely feel like they're they're starting to spawn a little bit but we run into a forest fire out on the lake i had to put a mask on practice day number two see that beautiful sunrise again putting back in where we did yesterday uh you know had a good day of practice yesterday i feel really good about it uh, the only thing that concerns me a little bit is we've got <clears throat> pretty good time from now today's wednesday we actually don't fish till saturday so you know, anything can happen but these fish are just starting to pull up spawn so i think it should should just get better uh the fish i'm catching are definitely trying to spawn or are spawning so um, at least that's what i feel like so we're gonna go out see what we can do today try to come up with uh either a backup pattern or try to dial in a little more or something just see what we can get into today but we're gonna run a little further up the river see what it looks like up there and see what we come up with enjoy this beautiful sunrise get into day two y'all this is my first time fishing on sharon harris i've only been fishing about 15 minutes um it's the real deal <laughs> look at this yep that's a frog this place is unreal I don't know who wants to volunteer to clean everything up for me. There's pollen. Got those things dropping. Cover's awful. And the inside of the boat's awful. North Carolina's tough right now. Plus, they're burning all the timber in uh, on the side of the lake. So, between the smoke and the pollen, whatever else that is, got a tough week. That means one thing, the bass are biting. All right, so hot and sweaty because I just took everything out of my truck and boat over there and I put it all in here it's just like a cup this week or we're fishing out of their boat there's some more in this stuff but we're allowed to film our own stuff so I had to figure out a way to film of course I'm gonna run the chesty uh, so you guys can see me fish tomorrow uh, in the YouTube series on the road but I needed one for the console or for the back deck and I didn't want to put something permanent in the boat that wasn't mine. So, uh, Mr. Aunt Defoe, you know, the man came up with this awesome way to rig a railblazer. So we use them every day in our boats, but uh, I didn't want to put anything permanent in this boat or put a stick on one. I didn't know where to put it. They got all kinds of sponsors and stuff, but I just took one of these out. He showed me to take one of those out. Got a railblazer mount there. GoPro goes there. Sees everything up there what's up everybody it is time finally 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 time to fish i feel like i've been uh here in raleigh forever practicing and waiting for the tournament to start but it is saturday morning day one for group b i'm about to head to the boat yard I got all my gopro stuff got the extra jerseys got the chesty mount hooked up boats already all loaded up with my gear it rained last night uh just enough to get the pollen off everything uh stormed a little bit but uh, looking forward to today get out there on the water Trying to make sure everything's good in the boat. Get the trolling motor set up where I want it. Turn the ghost on here. Seconds. 
power pole buttons are in the wrong spot. I keep tapping them. Maybe. Maybe. Please be two pounds. I don't think he's going to do it. Oh. One pound, 15 ounces. Clear it. Let's, weigh, let's weigh him again. Clear it. Come on, fish. Let's see one. Oh, excuse me. You're right. One pound, 15 ounces. Now I'm to Caught a seven pounder right there in practice. I'm sure that I'm sure that was the female and that was the male I just caught. I'll make sure she's not up there. It felt a little heavier when I was out there, but it got a little smaller when he got in here. Two pounds, one ounce. All right. Got her started anyway. That ain't no $25,000 fish, but... Maybe. Just a bunch of males this morning. Oh, they're two pounds, we don't care. Two pounds, three ounces. Keep. Five, four, three, two, one. Line bow, end of the first period. Well, that's the end of the first period. Not bad, but not good. I'm really kind of puzzled because I thought that it would be a little better, but it's all right. We'll work through our stuff and see if we can't figure them out. It's just been so many days since practice. I'm sure that's what it is, but we'll get them dialed in and see what happens in the second period. Well, we're fixing to go back into period three. Period two, we won't talk about it. I don't know what happened. I really don't understand what's happened to these fish. So we're gonna keep rolling with it. We're gonna keep covering water. So if we can't can't uh, figure it out good news is we're not that far out of the cut just a few pounds um after practice we saw how big they can be here so it's just a few bites go, got otter over here just just a little bit to my left giving me a little bit of pep talk because he's having a tough day too so let's go b rad let's go maybe maybe we need to get away from each other Maybe we need to get away from each other. Huh? You're not catching them and I'm not catching them either. Well, you got a point. Maybe we need to get away from each other. <laughs> Parker's in a junior tournament today. He's beating both of us. They've got three. Both of us combined. How about that? Three, two, one. Lines in. Begin of third period. <clears throat> Be rad. It goes. Two pounds, three ounces. Woo! <laughs> no, 
was a mess. It all worked out. Yeah, you can fish up that bank if you want to. No, I'm dude, you go. I'm fixing to leave too. Ain't no way I can catch one behind you. I can't catch one in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> You want me out of the way or you said you was about to go? No, I'll go. Two pounds, one ounce. Two pounds, one ounce. We're going to two pound them to death. It's going to be closer, but I don't know. Only. Get a big sardine. Nope. Two pounds or around. Whoop. Two pounds, one ounce. Oh, oh, oh. Lord. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lines out. End of the round. It's 12th position, but the elimination line is held by Alton Jones. You're seven pounds, 11 ounces below the cut line. So I'm in 12? Yes. Eight. I hate to bring it back up, but you lost a fish. I don't know, that was four pounder. This is a four or five pounder. Let's stay on the fish. I think I got back around the fish. I just don't know what happened to the good ones. Day two of competition. Uh, about to get going here. Just got in the truck, got it fired up. Um, man, I'm looking forward to getting out there. You know, we're in 12th, we're a little bit behind. Um, we're on two spots behind, but we're seven pounds behind, which really isn't nothing. I mean, after the practice I had, I mean, I, I saw a lot of big fish in practice. So, I mean, I'm not concerned about the being behind on the weight. It's just, man, they left a bad taste in my mouth after day one because I couldn't get those big ones to bite at all. I mean, I caught several fish. I just, I don't know what happened to those females. I don't know if some of them maybe locked down on bed or they got in a little funk where I was fishing or uh, maybe I just had one of those days. I don't know. I only hooked them with one good bite. So, I'm, I'm looking for a little bit of redemption, man. I just... I uh, was definitely, definitely disappointed in day one, but it's a new day. Uh, prayed about it. We'll trust the Lord with it and uh, see what we can come up with. Just go out there and, and go hard at it and see what happens. And hopefully we can catch some of the big ones because we don't want the males. We want the females. But stay with us. We'll see what happens today. Get out there in the water. See if we can jump into that top 10 cut and uh, make it to Sharon Harris. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Lines out. And it's like a Period one. Zero. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lines out. Period two. Zero fish. It's a good one too. Feels like it. It's horrible. Anyways.
two pounds, 11 ounces. Ah. Dude, it's a big one. I mean, it's a bass. If it's a bass, it's a giant. It is. Barely got it. Don't do 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 it. Got you. Thank you. Yes. Just trying to keep us off the rocks. Four pounds, six ounces. Thank you. Good. Okay, fellas, you win. Finally made it home. I actually just pulled into Anglers out post to Marine. I got to drop the boat off, do a little bit of maintenance on the boat, but uh, made it home all the way from Heavy Hitters. Not the event we were looking for, but a great event. Always blessed, thankful to have made that event. You know, it was an event we qualified for from last year. So, hope you guys enjoyed the footage. I enjoyed chasing those big bass, caught some really big ones in practice, had some really big bites. Uh, what I was doing just went away. I didn't make the adjustments. Uh, that's what happens in tournament fishing. You don't make the adjustments in time. You get to come home early. But we're home. Drop the boat off. Get it worked on. Get some maintenance done on it. And we'll be ready for the next one.